the traffic is not pretty much what Welcome to another video and this one we'll be talking about the radio navigation backup mode which is done through the radio management panel. Now I admit uh, this mode is rarely used even in real life but um, the knowledge about this is necessary in case you do get a dual FMGC, so flight management guidance computer fail or a dual MCDU fail. It's in these cases where you lose um, control of your navigation uh, radios through the flight management system and so then it becomes necessary to actually use that backup navigation mode. So let's have a look how to access this backup mode. On your pedestal you have two radio management panels, one for the captain side and one for the first officer side. Both panels are identical and here on the left side we'll have a closer look now at the standby nav tuning option. In some rare cases you will have to manually tune some radio nav aids or some ILS frequencies and for that you have to lift a transparent switch guard cover and then select the NAF key. Once you've done that, you've taken control over the receivers from the FMGC and now you have to dial in frequencies and courses through the backup navigation mode. It's important to remember that the RMP1 panel will serve the VR1 while the RMP2 panel on the right hand side will be used to dial in frequencies and courses for VR2. However, the ILS courses can be, or ILS frequencies as well, can be selected through either RMP panel and it will be cross synced with the other panel. Now, when selecting a new frequency, um, you have to press the transfer switch first of all and then uh, select the frequency of your VOR station, transfer it again, and then you'll have the option to change the course. Once you've done that, you can go to your EFIS control panel, select the ROSE VR mode, and then on your NAF display, you have a HSI display. It's a top-down view and whenever you change the course on the RMP panel it will show the typical offset from that dialed in course or radial. If you want to center your radial just look at the actual course that you're on or actual radial that you're on. Here for example it's around about uh, 320. So I'll dial that in and there you go and that's now the centered 320 radial to the Romeo Oscar India VUR. You can also select an ADF station. So you just select the prompt ADF. Uh, make sure you have ADF selected on the EFIS control panel. And then uh, you have that typical bearing um, information on your NAF display. Lastly, let's have a look how to select and dial an ILS frequency and a course. So first of all, make sure that you select LS on one side or both if you like. Then switch over the frequency again in order to be able to change it. So in this case, here it's the frequency 110.9. Switch over again, so transfer, and then you have the course line. You can see it updated automatically on the number two set. Now we just dial in the inbound course, 177 degrees. And you can see that also transfers automatically to the number two set. Once in range, you have the typical symbology shown on the NAF display. And if you select LS on the EFIS control panel, you'll also have the ILS diamonds on your primary flight display.
And that is how you use the backend navigation mode here in the A320 series. I have also made a video regarding an interesting failure. It's an FMGC 1 and 2 failure where you have to use this uh, method of dialing in your VOR and ILS frequencies. I'll leave a link uh, in the top right corner here if you are interested in watching that. And so thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you again very soon in the next one. Until then, as always, happy landings.